Hey everyone, today I will show you highly elusive scars and some very rare US coins that are worth huge money these days. Error coins, key dates, immaculate perfect struck coins and other highly sought after lots. So make sure to hit subscribe and notification buttons below this video and let's get started. I would like to start with this rare quarter, 1937 Bashington quarter with double diverse, graded at least a 66 by PCGS where its strong doubling is noted on the motto and digits of the date. As stated in the 5th edition of Cherry Picker's Guide, this variety is considered one of the most important in the series. This premium gem is one of two certified by either PCGS or NGC. The surfaces are smooth and virtually mark free and a bit of soft silver grey patina has gathered overall. As you know, pre 65 quarters were struck on a 90% silver planchet, so it also adds up to the value. Sold in 2013 for $21,150 at Heritage Auctions. Moving on to the wartime error coin, 1945 P. Jefferson Nick has struck on a silver dime planchet. Grade at means day 64 by PCGS. This issue was intended to be struck on a wartime composition blanks of partial silver. But this example was struck on a dime planchet. Just enough of the date remains on the flan to permit positive identification. Of course, a large P mint mark on the reverse narrows the available choices to a four year span. Most of the United States of America is absent. The portrait is, is complete except for the very top of Jefferson head. Monticello is intact except for the far east border. Lustrous and lightly toned with moderate incompleteness of strike at centers and upper reverse border. Sold on August 26, 2022 for $2640 at Heritage Auctions. This is 1938 half time at midday 66 O stands for New Orleans Meat. What makes this coin highly demanded is that it was struck without stars surrounding seated Lady Liberty. Only 70,000 pieces were produced in this variant And this is a single finest certified so far. This is an all brilliant example with extraordinary mint luster. New Orleans products are often associated with satiny or lackluster surfaces. This coin displays bright frosted mint luster, sold on October 27, 2014, for $49,937. Dollars and 50 cents at heritage auctions. Here is a special struck 1964 Kennedy half dollar, so called SMS half dollar. Considered one of the most expensive Kennedy half dollars with only dozen pieces known. The 1964 SMS Kennedy half dollar is struck on a 90% silver planchet from a single pair of dies, showing much sharper detail than the regular issue and having a satiny surface texture. Die markers include on obverse a tiny apostrophe shaped lump of extra metal protruding from the bottom edge of the crosslet of the 4 in the date. And on the reverse a discernible die polishing line connecting the bottom tip of the lower crossbar of O and the A. And another connecting same crossbar of the half to the rim near the D of dollar. This super gem example exhibits all of those markers clearly. It's one of only about a dozen pieces known. Sold on April 25, 2019 for $108,000. This is 1951 as Franklin half dollar at midst day 67 with full bell lines. Splendid orange gold, lilac red and lemon yellow toning in those is lustrous superb gem. Hints of sea green and powder blue are also evident in protected regions. The obverse appears pristine and reverse contact is mostly limited to the lower left portion of the Liberty Bell. Now the term full bell lines pertains to a strong strike especially on the reverse of a Franklin half dollar so that the two lines on the bottom of the bell run unbroken to the crack. Sold on October 7, 2020 for $4,800. Here is 1874 big for $10 coin struck on an aluminium planchet. The obverse depicts a bust of liberty facing left with the legend United States of America above and the date below. Liberty wears a diadem inscribed with the word liberty and ornamented with six stars. 
The weight is 16.72 grams, the standard of the metal, 900 fine, and the word ubiq are centered on the reverse. Around the periphery is the US denomination dollars 10 and its international equivalents, mar marks, kronen, gulden, and francs. Coin is struck in aluminum with reeded edge. Grade as PR65 Cameo by PCGS. This very splendid coin ended up selling for $108,000 in January 2020 at Heritage Auctions. Moving on to this wartime error coin, 1942 dated Walking Liberty struck on a silver quarter planchet. Weight is 6.2 grams. A planchet intended for a silver Washington quarter took wrong paths at the US Mint. The coin was struck aligned with a color die, or nearly so, at 7 o'clock. Most of the eagle is present, Liberty is missing her head and raised hand. Peripheral legends are distorted from expansion, unrestrained by the color die. Sold on January 3rd, 2020 for $18,000 at heritage auctions. Here is an error 1972 as Roosevelt time. Double struck both strikes of center, graded as PR65 by NGC. The first strike was of center toward 130 and the second strike was of center toward 5 o'clock. Both struck without reading. A substantial portion of the first strike remains including the ERTI in Liberty. The upper outline of the portrait and one dime. The date and mint mark from the second strike are bold. The second strike resulted in wedge-shaped flan splits at 12 o'clock and 4 o'clock. Relative to the first strike, reddish deposits from the copper core are seen on the reverse border between 12 and 4 o'clock. The left border shows a broad arc of unstruck surface. Sold on October 7, 2020 for $2,520. A very valuable Lincoln cent, believed to be finest matte proof Lincoln cent. 1914 Lincoln cent grade as PR68 read by PCGS. Housed in a green label PCGS holder and originating from a 5 coin 1914 proof set, this incredible Lincoln cent is absolutely stunning with flawless surfaces, the finest of its kind. PCGS only certified one other 1914 Lincoln cent as PR68 read. In fact, the only other mud-proof Lincoln scent of any date to receive the PCGS PR68 red grade is a single 1909 example. Only one glance at this amazing coin is, is required to recognize its unique status among its peers. It's one of the finest surviving mud-proof Lincoln scents. For set registry collectors, there's a single finest mud-proof Lincoln scent currently on the market. Sold in 2008 for $126,500 at Heritage Auctions. I love this one. Rainbow Toned 1938 Washington Quarter. Also proof coin graded as PR68 Plus by NGC. The mint manufactured 845, the mint manufactured 8045 proof Washington Quarters in 1938. And this superb gem ranks among the finest certified at NGC and PCGS combined. The outer areas are beautifully toned in multicolor patina that includes the shades of orange, yellow, green, blue, and magenta, while the interiors remain largely brilliant. Sold on October 7, 2022, for $5,280 at Heritage Auctions. And for the last is impressive 1984 Lincoln Sand with double die verse, great that means they 68, read by PCGS. What you have to look for in your 1984 pennies for double die elements are Lincoln's ear, lower beard, and the bow tie. This is a virtual pristine champagne origin example that shows minor pimpling in the fields but absolutely no post-striking flaws on either side. It was sold in 2009 for $3,910 at Heritage Auction. Thanks for watching guys, your subscriptions and likes are highly appreciated. See you in the next episode. Bye.